A new study has unraveled some of the mystery of lung cancer in never smokers. Researchers found that among young, non-smoking female lung cancer patients, there was an unusually high level of mutations in the Apobec enzymes, a family of enzymes that edit RNA. Previously, it was believed that lung cancer in never smokers arose from exposure to secondhand smoke or cooking fumes. Now, researchers say there's another mechanism at play that could pave the way to earlier diagnosis and treatment. Smoking equals lung cancer. That's what many people think. But in Taiwan, 50% of lung cancer patients are not smokers. Among this group, 93% are women. Before, it was believed that they developed cancer from secondhand smoke or cooking oil fumes. But according to a recent study, mutations in their apobec enzymes could be to blame. Researchers found that among female never smokers under 60, 74% of them had more mutations than average. We found that for women under 60, 70% had apobec mutations. But in older women, there wasn't such a clear pattern. So we think these mutations could be a characteristic of younger female patients. Environmental factors are more at play for older women, but that's more understandable. The longer you live, the longer you're exposed to environmental factors, and those effects add up. Researchers believe that apobec mutations could be a cause of lung cancer in younger female never smokers. For older women, the disease is more likely to arise from environmental carcinogens. The incidence rate of lung cancer for never smokers also seems to be related to geography. Never smokers account for 20% of lung cancer patients in the U.S., whereas in Taiwan, over 50% of patients are never smokers. In addition, by studying patient proteins, researchers identified a new subtype of lung cancer that's occurring in Asia. Most clinical tests tend to be genetic tests. Testing proteins to treat cancer is not common. In this study, we are putting forward a groundbreaking idea, which is that studying proteins can help identify the characteristic of each patient. This study was done in collaboration with the U.S. National Cancer Moonshot Initiative, it's been published in the medical journey cell. Researchers hope their findings can help doctors detect high-risk patients and intervene early.